more than half of the videos online are watched without audio. So captions are more important now than ever. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to add captions to your videos and show you a very cool resource from where to get your captions from. In this channel, we make a lot of videos about digital media and marketing. So if that's something you're interested in, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also that bell notification icon so you don't miss any one of our upcoming videos. Let's get started. So once I finish editing my video and put it together, I head on over to Rev.com. Rev.com is a great resource to get captions. Uh, the they only charge a dollar a minute for the caption. So with my current videos being somewhere between five and eight minutes, it's a great way to get uh, very inexpensive captions and save you a lot of time. Go ahead and click the middle one here, captions. Go ahead and create an account. Okay, you're gonna click place new order captions you want to upload the file so select the video you want to get your captions for upload it okay so you see this one was only five minutes so it's only five dollars and go ahead and check out so once your captions are completed you will receive an email with a link go ahead and click that link and it'll take you to where you can go through and watch your video. Hey, in this video, I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step step how to create that status bar that you see made famous. You know, for the most part, they're, they're about 99% correct. Um, I rarely, if ever, have to do any changes on mine. Um, so go ahead and go to the download. And what you want to download is the .srt file. So now that you have your downloaded captions file, head on over to uh, your program that you're creating your video. And this one, I'm doing it in Premiere Pro. And I'm going to just select, drag and drop my captions file, my SRT file. Gonna select it and drop it into my video. And I see that my voice started talking right around here. I'm going to adjust my captions. In this video, I'm going to walk you through step by step how to create. Now, to edit the captions, you see how it's small and in the middle. You're going to double click over here to the left. These are all your captions. I'm going to right click, select all. That way, when I make a change to the captions, it makes a change to all of them, not just one. So, let me go ahead and adjust the position of the captions. So you can do that by either moving it here, or if you go to your effects control, you can change the position with this Y axis here. I'm going to make it bigger. Let me try around 56. There you go. Uh, change the font. I usually like Bevis New. And the opacity of the back. So here's the background color. And here's the color for the text. So if you want to change the background color to something else, or the text color to something else, you can do that through here. You just click it, and then here's the color. And then you can just go ahead and change it. Same thing with the text. So this one, what I'm going to do is, oops. I think what I'm going to do on this one is just drop the opacity of the background. Seems a little bit too harsh. Let me drop it to about 94. Seems about good. Let me do 98. There you go. 98 seems about okay. And after you've gone through your whole video, make sure all the captions are correct. So the good thing about Rev as well, once you have the SRT file, you can also use the SRT file to upload that to YouTube in case you don't want to burn the burn the captions directly to YouTube. And it also has another one where you can, this is a Facebook ready uh, SRT file. So you can upload this download this and then upload that directly to Facebook and that'll add those captions to Facebook as well. 
in case you wanted all this information, you can also download a text file. And by having the text file, you have all the words that you wrote here. So you can actually use that text file to create a blog if you wanted to as well. So if you gave information about something in your video, get the text file, and then you can create a blog from your video as well. Don't forget to continue your digital media marketing education by clicking or tapping on one of the videos right here. As always, Carlos, Sepeda Media. See you in the next video. Bye.